What's up? It's Stevac with me. It's Fat Larry, and we're at cutesy.com. So this this is this is very pink. So this website is about cute and Z, a bunny and a little girl. They have a whole backstory. I'm not gonna read that. No, this is for the viewers at home to pause and read at their own uh, leisure. Good. Reading is for nerds. That's why you're making videos. Exactly. So we're going to start with uh, a game that caught my eye on cutesy.com, Double Baby Shower. So I thought this was going to be a game about a baby shower for twin babies. Babies are pretty cool. So two babies. Wait, why are... That's, that's not what a baby shower is. It's not what a baby shower is. I don't think... I'm... Okay, then. Also... I really just don't know how I'm supposed to react to this. Exactly! (laughs) So... There are different ways to interpret this scene. I mean, one of them is that you are a mom uh, giving a bath to her two children who are brother and sister. Um... But those kids are strangely, like, affectionate in their poses to- next to each other. And it's really weird. It's, it's weird me out. Yeah. Yeah, I can... Also, I don't think if they can stand that that's a noise that they would be making. Especially not the same exact noise over and over. No, they're from the baby hazel dimension. I'm just not going to ask about the baby hazel dimension. And what else might be there? No, you don't want to go to the baby hazel dimension. But they make the sound there. Also, I'm glad that they included gendered shampoo in this game. Also, you can tell that uh, I, I've tried to squirt the water directly into the baby's eyes every single time. Yeah. It's... <laughs> what, like... It... I think the lack of reaction at all to anything is making this creepier than anything else. So last night I watched, uh, I watched the Silent Hill movie with Cherry Doom and a bunch of people, and this is more scary. Yeah, I believe it. So now we're gonna dress up these babies. Also- I don't think, I don't think feet work that way. I mean, I'm no artist, but I'm pretty sure that's not- (laughs) I mean, I'm looking down at my own feet right now just to check, and they don't work that way. Well, they're babies, so they don't actually know how to, like, st- I-, I feel like they don't really know how to stand, but the- they don't know how to any other way to put them. Also, uh, I tried to- t- <laughs> I started going for uh, Lucy and Ricky in how I was dressing them, but then I found that Batman shirt. That's a pretty good shirt. It is a good shirt. I like how the logo makes no sense with the perspective or the fact that it's on a person. It's just a flat Batman logo. Yeah. It's a nice touch. I also like that the girl baby is laughing at the boy baby's stupid hat constantly. (laughs) Yeah, well, you always gotta go for the fedora option in these games. Well, of course. That's not a fedora, that's a trilby! Huh? Okay, I will trust your judgment. Whatever. As you are the expert in Fedora Matters. I know. Why do I why do I care about that? Ugh, I've been doing this for too long. The kite so, just uh I that <laughs> Yeah, the kite's just there. But it makes sense because they end up outside. I'm not really sure what part of this is really a game. I mean I guess there's the dress up part, but I don't Yeah, it's it's a dress up. Yeah. So the next game uh, is Tattoo Passion. There are quite a couple. Uh, there are quite a few uh, tattoo games in the, in these websites, and I have neglected to show them off until now. Here is one. It is a game where you make a tattoo. Okay. I'm not really super sure how this game works. Well, it's stolen from another site, so that's a good sign. Oh God, that's loud. Fuck. <laughs> you might want to turn your music uh, down. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So, Tattoo Passion. We're a tattoo artist, so we choose our client. Um, 
I chose the most straight-laced client I could I could see out of the four of them because I wanted to see what kind of weird kinky tattoo she wanted. Okay. So. She wants a bird. Yeah. So, but, but first, we have to interview our client, and then we have to answer questions about her to prove that we actually read her dialogue. Except the fourth question is always... Or the third question? The third question. There's not four questions. There's only three. The third question always makes no sense. Yeah. It doesn't have anything to do with what she said. And it's it's really strange. I don't, I don't understand it. Okay. This is, uh... <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> there was no way that was coming. Oh! You knew it was coming, you said. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 so, what we do is we give her a temporary tattoo. Oh. Um, and this is, of course, exactly how glue works and pencils. That's much better than a permanent copy of whatever abomination you just created. No, so this is the, actually the uh, Microsoft PowerPoint clip art uh, tattoo parlor. Oh, okay, that and, makes sense. Uh, so that's where that bird is from. So now we're going to tattoo it on using uh, the ancient art of uh, tattoo pressure points. I was going to say tattoo osu, but... <laughs> so we did that. That was easy. Oh, good. At least they're, you know, practicing tattoo hygiene. And now we're going to we're going to paint the tattoo, which Oh my god, could I have chosen a more stupidly intricate tattoo Holy craft shit. to color? It's like pixel perfect. I, I cannot fucking do this. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm so terrible. This is this is it's so tiny. Like what the fuck? It's so tiny and you can't zoom in and ugh. I'm not I'm not sure why this is even on this site. I just don't understand. Of course, I don't understand a lot of things. I'm a very stupid person, but still. There it goes. Okay, we did it. We put that stupid bird on her arm. So if they want, like, words instead of a picture, can you just choose the font? I mean, if this is going to be the Microsoft Office tattoo parlor... I don't know. They all want pictures. Oh. Uh, at least the two that I played. But then I was like, well, we gotta do another tattoo. We gotta see what the other people want tattooed on their body. I just wanted somebody with a bunch of random symbols so they could walk up to people and be like, this means strength in webdings. <laughs> in the Girl Games universe. Yeah. So, uh, still trying to find someone who's secretly kinky. I clicked on that girl. Uh, so her new book, Dragon Valley, is a great success, and she wants a red dragon tattoo to uh, commemorate it. I thought the dragons in Dragon Valley were blue. I mean, Wait, just, I've only been there like twice in Dark Souls, so. <laughs> and I got my ass kicked both times, but. Well, maybe she just wants a red dragon because that's, you know, her style. But this is what I should have chosen to begin with because it's all just one object and I don't have to color it in. You missed an opportunity to draw a dick. Well, I already drew the one. Yeah. I've but already drawn like two dicks in, one is, at least. One is. In this whole LP. Look, we have standards here. You <laughs> need to meet your quota. Do you measure the goodness of an LP by the number of dicks drawn in it? I guess that's as good a measure as any. I don't. I'm not usually as involved in these things as you guys are. So, all right. So we're gonna tattoo this complicated dragon on this woman's lower back. All right, we did it. Good job. That wasn't so hard. Sure is an outline now, of a dragon. Ta-da! <laughs> All right! It's, it's just... Like, the first one takes fucking forever, and that one's one click. Yep. Yep. I'm good at video games. So good at video games. All right, let's get the fuck out of this tattoo so, parlor. I, I got a question here. Uh, I hope I'm not spoiling yes. further into the video, because I have not watched this before it, but 
I saw some sort of royal baby nose game. Is that in the video? No, it's not. God. I think the thread is tired of nose games. But royal and baby, teeth I mean. Games. Royal baby. I know, right? Can you fucking believe it's the royal baby? <laughs> I actually can't. I need to see it for myself <laughs> to prove that it's well, the royal baby. Well, you can go to cutesy.com and play royal baby nose problems. You and I both know we're not, I'm not going to do that. Please don't. God. Never go here to any of these websites. I'm glad that you picked the angriest eyebrows. That's a good start. I, I always do. Uh, so this is Barbie meets Hello Kitty. Okay. Which is a dress-up game that has really neither Barbie nor Hello Kitty, but rather implications of them both. You know, it just looks like she's dying of some kind of disease when you put all that blue on. I know. Why Why do they always offer blue blush? Nobody uses blue blush. I don't understand. Oh, okay, so there's the... Okay, I get it. She can have Hello Kitty tattoos. Temporary tattoos. Animated temporary tattoos. And the best accessory. <laughs> That's pretty good. What's up, bitches? I'm the queen of Hello Kitty. Why would you want to put on any clothing that don't that doesn't have Hello Kitty on it? You can do that in any other game. It's like some kind of zombie. Yeah. Well, you probably saw Sackgirl and thought it was gonna be something bad, but it's actually just Sackgirl. Yeah. Okay. And little Big Planet. Yeah. Little Big Planet's and... pretty good. I got the. Yeah, it's cute. Liked the PSP one, didn't have a PS3, so I couldn't play the other one, but good game. So this is a dress-up game because, you know, you played Little Big Planet, did all the dress-up in that game, well, felt like you needed something more. I mean, look, sometimes I'm at work and I still want to play Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet is not about platforming, it's about looking fabulous. It's true. It's just like basically every other game with customization. The actual game is second to playing dress up. Exactly, which is true. No matter no matter what you know game it is, whether what no matter what it's targeted at. Also, frog costume. Oh my life. god, that frog rules! Frog costume. Frog. We're done here. Yep, there's. You're done. The tongue coming out the bottom of her face is even better. Oh, it's great. And then you can have her tongue sticking out of her mouth in addition to the frog's tongue sticking out of his mouth. <laughs> Just looks like she's being eaten by a frog. So this is cute, and uh, yeah, this kind of you rules. know you can you can make goofy options as well as more realistic options, which is fun. And it's all very like silly and cute, and I like this game. It's not terrible. That's Although good. I don't understand why you would want to play it when you have way more dress-up options in actual Little Big Planet. Oh man, was that sack girl holding like a little sack girl? Yes. Can you dress up a little sack girl? No. Oh. Because that would be good. Yeah. So there's like some hipster, some neon hipster in the background. So I mean, that's just, that yeah. That just goes with Little Big Planet. I mean, he's obviously the level designer. I, I guess so. You know, uploading right. it online. Look at this. So that was that was a nice break. Um, but now we're going to go back into the Hellfire for uh, for this game. What? Injured Monster Doctor. Oh, God. Is her head held together with duct tape? This one has a cutscene. Whoa. This is some excellent storytelling right here. Yeah. Wait, why are you... what? So this is baby Draculara, who is uh, from Monster High, and she, oh God. she's a vampire. So she was trying to hang like a bat, but she fell off. And she makes the same exact tree. stock baby noise as the other babies. I know, right? Maybe we need, we, maybe we need to find that baby noise. There's just like one baby from. somewhere that's famous and doesn't even realize it. Yeah. Also, are you checking for a heartbeat? I thought, she, I mean, she's a Dracula. Draculas are dead. I know. There are many inconsistencies in this game. That is one of them. Also, if she's moving around, she probably has a freaking heartbeat. Come on, what is that? 
All right, so now we have to uh, pull these wooden nails out of her limbs. Just stick one through her heart and rid the world of this abomination. I know, they tried, but they, they missed her heart, so... I guess Trees. I'm gonna have to put some kind of warning on this video, too, because this is pretty gross. Yeah, this is actually, like, super gross, because it all looks, like, shitty and infected. And, uh, and then also, like, I know this is a thing that people do, but I'm still a little bit weirded out by little babies with just a diaper on, particularly girl little babies. It's... Like, without without a top on. It's very strange. I don't know, it's just... I I just can't get over the fact that this is like some weird pulsating zombie baby covered in terrible wounds, and this is a game for, like, little girls. Yeah. Yeah, that is... So there are... This is like... This is just... Like, this is a type of game. The game where the baby is, is really hurt, and you have to heal the baby. It's... And, like... I feel like it's it got it must have got into some sort of like escalation, right? Like the people kept coming out with new injured baby games and it just kept getting more and more intense until we got here. Is there an injured royal baby simulator cuz I feel like that would get you put on a watch list. <laughs> I don't know. There's just the nose one that I saw. Is the nose of the royal baby injured? Um, well, it's, like, infected and shit, so... Well, this is all infected, so clearly it's basically the same game, but with the royal baby. Yeah. But this is, I mean, this baby is a vampire, too, so, like, she'll be fine. Also, we get to choose what kind of band-aid we oh, want man. to use. Oh, man. You know, there's some customization, that's good, and that's good. Yeah, that's a nice touch. I mean, when you're making this... Wow, that is an angry baby face. Well, it's like a pain face. But putting the band-aids really on... Rip all the bandages off! I don't. Now we inject for some reason? Tetanus shots? What are we? Oh, maybe, yeah. Do they give babies tetanus shots? That seems like. I, I don't know. It seems like, like it would really a piss off that, a baby. That's, I feel like that's not really something that has to happen very often. Oh, and well, she's got bruises, I guess is what those are. Okay. I'm gonna give her an x ray. Okay, that baby skeleton is pretty funny. Okay, so after all of this, she has, like, several fractures. I don't know why we didn't tend to those earlier, but okay. Just, just put a bandage on those. We'll be fine. And then the band-aids well, just dissolve, and, you know, you're good. Yeah, she's a baby, though. They, they come back. Oh, God. They, they bounce back from everything. Oh, God. That face combined with the monster baby <laughs> dentist right next to yep. it. Yep. That's the next thing that happens. I am... But we, that's okay. We're not going to do that. We're going to do a really bad game full of bad messages to, to cap off this update. I mean, baby We're torture simulator. We're going to do a reverse makeover. Okay. So, the first step in our reverse makeover is we're gonna take, uh, well, we're gonna play a hidden object game because we have to at least make this kind of seem like an, like a game, I guess. But the whole point of this is that we're taking, uh, a conventionally attractive girl and, and messing her up. And that means making her fat. So we're gonna rub this food in her face oh, what? until she's sufficiently fat. What? That's not how you eat. Your hands aren't even... Regardless of the subject matter, the animation is fucking terrible. Also, look how fat she gets for only consuming 3,200 calories. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's a lot of calories, but... Also, we're gonna make her chew on some rocks now. So her teeth are all broken and gross, and then we're gonna we're gonna drill some holes she in her teeth. She cries so this while is a still combination. smiling. This is a combination of uh, of games we've played before because it's also got the dentist game in there. I feel like this is this might be uh, somewhat of a self aware parody, but I'm not entirely sure. Either way, as somebody who really really hates drills, this is fucking ow. And then, for some reason, we 
made her teeth all yellow. I don't really know how that works. It's a reverse whitening process. Then instead of a face mask, we dumped some mayonnaise on her face. Oh, good. And her eyebrows are starting to, you know, grow into a unibrow. That's, that's progress. Yeah. Just leave that on there. Wash it off. I don't know what that is. I'm, yeah. But, uh, oh, and then, and then, instead of a steamer, we're gonna have her breathe in some, some cigarettes. Okay, there's, there's no way this isn't a parody. <laughs> the cigarettes in the little girl game kind of seal it. So this is Poison Ivy, I guess? But we still have to pluck her eyebrows, let's be real here. I mean, God, you can't, like... Look... And if they're just not going to go all the way to Unibrow, I don't know why they're even bothering. And then we put glasses on, because glasses are always, uh, ugly. Let's give her some ugly hair. Another game that doesn't know how feet work. I just gave her the Skrillex hair. <laughs> I don't think that's ugly. Nah. Anyway, these are just dresses that have holes in them. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're going to be ugly, you also have to be poor if you're going to be really ugly. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just how it works. What, no combat boots? I don't think this game really has a, a good handle on what is... What, what, are, what is actually... Ugly. It's just a regular game with chunks taken out of it. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, reverse makeover. That. We did it. Oh, oh it was all a dream. Uh, I get it. Bad habits can ruin the way you look. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna quit my mayo facial addiction right now because I played this yeah, game. Yeah, you fat whore. Yeah, I'm just I. You can't tell, but I'm, like, scraping all the mayo off as we speak. Delicious.